Well, uh, good evening, YouTube. So, um, I didn't go to the Christmas party that my work was hosting, mainly because, um, I tried getting a ride to the party, and I'm thinking they might have forgot, because I said the party started at, like, 7, you know, and I walk out to go wait for my ride, and, um, yeah, nobody ever showed up, so it's all good. I'm not really worried about it. But, uh, yes, people are asking on my channel about the ice cream bread. Um, I did film it, but the camera cut off halfway through the process, so I ended up deleting the video. Next time I go to make ice cream bread, though, I'll definitely make sure I have enough space on my camera phone and I'll film it. And seems how I didn't go to the party, the ice cream bread that I was going to bring, I ended up having some, and, um, well, if I could say one thing about it, is that it's super fucking delicious, um, I got to that point, though, where I had to stop eating it because I was starting to get full, and, yeah, I don't need to eat a whole loaf of ice cream bread. That's just incredibly unhealthy, but... Also, um, there's this person who stole my ID on YouTube and created an account very identical to mine, and then went around on my channel and other people's channels posting stupid shit, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, what, you know, what kind of life you must have, YouTube, that you're so bored with your life, that you have to create similar accounts to people on YouTube, just so you can make fun of them, your life must be so uneventful. And at first, I thought somebody had hacked my account because the person used the same YouTube ID and the same profile pic, but they put a big space in between JFS and King Cobra, so, yeah. And, you know, I, I really don't appreciate it when people do stupid shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have an amazing website in front of you full of entertaining content that people from around the globe upload on a daily basis. Yet you're going to spend it focusing on this asshole right here. You're going to spend your time on YouTube harassing me. And I, I must be doing something right on this damn website, otherwise people wouldn't try so fucking hard to get to me. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. It's nothing new, man. I've been on YouTube for a number of years now. So I'm used to the crap people try to pull to make my YouTube experience miserable. And the important thing you can do when people do shit like this is to, one, if they start anything with you on YouTube, confirm or deny any rumors that they try to start using your name, and two, more importantly, um, is to not let these assholes ruin your YouTube experience, okay? Now, I have a YouTube subscription count of a little over a thousand, which means a little over a thousand people tune in every time I post a video. And somebody had asked me 
Um, do you have anything special planned for when you hit the 2,000 subscriber mark? And I go, no, not really, because my channel's not that interesting. Just some autistic speaking his mind and his opinions, really, you know. There are a bazillion better channels out there than mine, honestly. I know this because they have more subscribers than I do. Yeah. But I don't do the YouTube experience for the subscriptions. I do it because it's therapeutic. I have an audience that will listen to what I have to say when I speak my mind and shit, you know. So. If I'm, like, having a super shitty day and I need to vent about it, Here's a camera, here's a YouTube audience, you know what I'm saying? And that actually has helped a lot, believe it or not. So, yeah. Good ice cream bread. Um, the combination I picked, it's excellent. The peach cobbler, Reese's peanut butter cup ice cream combination. Ooh. Any chocolate that was in the Reese's the Reese's peanut butter cups that was in that ice cream, they basically melted into the dough mixture, and what was left behind were the little peanut butter chunks, and occasionally you get, you know, the chocolate chunk with it, and um, then you have the cinnamon and the peach from the peach cobbler. It was a nice subtle touch, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't overdone. Yeah. Now, the cool thing about ice cream bread is you can use any flavor of ice cream you want. If you wanted to mix Oreos with mint chocolate chip, you could. You know. And, again, I apologize for not uploading the ice cream bread video of me making it. Um, but, but next time I go to make some ice cream bread and I have the space on my phone to do it, I will definitely do a video for y'all showing you how I make the ice cream bread. Um, I set my oven to 420 degrees, and I put the timer on for an hour and, like, 38 seconds. And while the timer was going on, I went and threw the ice cream bread mixture together and put it in, in the, in the, um, bread baking dish and everything. And by the time I got done putting the ice cream bread mixture into the bread baking dish, um... Stove clock, the timer said like a like an hour and 28 minutes, and I put the bread in the oven, and I came back when it said like an hour and eight minutes. When the clock on it said an hour and eight minutes, I opened it to check on it. It looked done, but I wasn't sure, so I grabbed um, something to poke the bread with, and when I pulled it up, it was clean when it came out. So I'm like, all right, cool, the bread's done. So then I go to flip it and transfer it to some tin foil so I can wrap it up and take it with me to the party. And then, in the process of doing that, like, the bread was upside down, and when I tried turning it right side up, it broke a little bit. I was kind of bummed about that because I was going to take this ice cream bread to a, a work Christmas party, and... The reason why I was bummed about it tearing was because, for me, it's about presentation. You know, when I'm making a dish, I want it to look good. Not just taste good, but look good, you know what I'm saying? And it looks better if it's a solid piece of bread versus, oh, it, it broke a little bit, you know? Which, if I would have gone, to the, if I gone to the party, honestly, I don't think anyone would have cared that it was tore up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, yep. Yep. And, you know, this is the thing of it, man. When people... When people go to extreme lengths to, um... Uh... Try to harass somebody online... It's pretty pathetic. And they do it because they want to see somebody get pissed off. And it's just sad. It really is. I'm going to set my alarm for 8.30, so when I wake up in the morning, before I get ready to do anything, um, I can call my work to see if I work tomorrow or not. 
Um, I would have called them tonight, but they're in the middle of the party if it hasn't already ended. And yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to bug them while they're doing that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, and this is the thing of it, man. People try so freaking hard with these things to get a reaction out of you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm reading the comments of this person's posting, I'm like, I didn't post these, well, what the fuck's going on, you know what I'm saying? And at first I thought somebody had hacked my account, but then it turns out somebody created a YouTube account identical to mine. Um, the only difference is, is they put a huge-ass space in the middle of the words King Cobra and the initials JFS. Um, so, and the thing if it is, too, is when I go to YouTube and I type in... King Cobra JFS. Um, my channel pops up, but the the um the person who's faking um using the person who is using my name um I can't find their account anywhere. So. I don't know, man. They might have deleted it, hopefully. <laughs> I can't wait to see the ice cream bread, Joshi. Never heard of it, and it sounds totally fattening and delicious. <laughs> Yeah, ice cream bread is most certainly delicious, and yes, very fattening. Um, but then again, it wouldn't be called a dessert if it wasn't, right? Um, Comment was from the Swole Mole. She's like, I can't wait to see the ice cream bread. <laughs> well, you kind of saw it on camera there, and I literally ate half a loaf of that shit. Cause oh my god, it's so well one bite. I mean, I tried a, a nibble of it when a section of it fell off when I was, you know, like transferring it to the um, uh, tin foil. And as I was flipping it right side up, a small chunk of it fell off. And I'm like, alright, I'll try to nibble and see how it tastes. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is pretty good. But a small nibble isn't really a, a justice. Like, you get an actual piece of that, you know what I'm saying? So the peach cobbler and Reese's peanut butter cup ice cream combination worked. I like it. Um, if I were to make ice cream bread again, would I use that combination? Absolutely. But I promise next time that I make ice cream bread, I'll be sure to film it so y'all can see how I do it. Do, 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 do it. And um, if I call work tomorrow at 8.30 or whatever, and they go, well, you don't have to work today. <laughs> All right, screw this. I'm going back to bed. Because <laughs> that's usually what I do on my days off as I sleep in.
being out of cigarettes can suck, but I've had this bag of four aces for over a month now, and it's still not empty. There's like about that much left in the bag. That's impressive. I paid like twenty-two dollars and some odd cents for this bag, and um, you can't beat that for as much tobacco as in there. I can guarantee you there's more there's more tobacco there in there, and that in one full bag of four aces like that, um, you you're gonna get more tobacco than you get in a carton, and you're gonna spend a good thirty dollars less too. You know what I'm saying? Someone posted a comment on my one of my latest videos. It says, Josh, you are hot fucking shit. Get a chick to come over, turn your camera off, and put on some Barry White. Come on, Cobra, you got this. Who the fuck is Barry White? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. But I'm assuming it's some romantic shit, otherwise he would have suggested it. Except, on some things, I don't got this, unfortunately. <laughs> uh. Because there's just some things that I get high, high anxiety over. And I am horrible at social situations. So... These last couple of months, I, I haven't been to the bar, and I, I don't even remember. The, I don't even remember the last time I went to the bar, honestly. Um, and every time I have money, you know, I think about going, and then I'm like, yeah. I've been kind of a hermit these last couple of months. I don't really do anything for fun as far as a hobby goes. I mean, if you want to count guitar playing, but... I don't know, man. I haven't played the guitar very much recently. Hmm. Like, I got back from vacation and... And uh, I picked up the guitar and played it for a bit, and then... Yeah. 
I haven't been in a guitar playing mood lately. I don't I don't know why. Anyway, um, before I go, do a fat line of this snuff. Oh, God damn it. Aha. Oh, yeah. Oh, that burns so good. Ugh. If you've never done tobacco snuff before, oh, yeah, I got a little bit on my uh, lip there. There we go. If you've never done tobacco snuff before like that, it burns. Once the burns besides though, it's, it's actually quite pleasant. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, this is King Cobra JFS with another video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.